and welcome to the launch of the new Tiger Sport 660. Now, this new Tiger Sport has been designed to bring Triumph's triple-powered advantage to the middleweight adventure sport category, setting a new class-leading standard right from the start with the highest level of power, the highest level of specification, and the lowest cost of ownership in the category. Now, Triumph tell me that this brings a new level of versatility and has all the capability demonstrated by their incredibly successful Trident Triple. And today, we're going to find out exactly what this bike's all about and what makes it such a great new choice. And better still, hear from two independent video bloggers who have already had the chance to ride it head-to-head -head with its competition. So let's kick off with a quick rundown on the key facts. Steve, what are people looking for from an adventure sport middleweight? In a word, Jamie, versatility. This is the type of bike that gets used for literally every type of motorcycling, from commuting to weekend rides to touring, where the capability, the comfort, the performance, and the handling all have to deliver. Plus, the bike needs to look great, have a high quality of finish, and it has to be genuinely good value for money and have a low cost of ownership. That's a lot of boxes to tick. Now, I know there are some really good motorcycles in this category already. What does this Tiger Sport bring that's new? First up, just like our Trident, the heart of this bike is a triple, which means, unlike the other bikes in this category, which are all twins, the power and torque not only delivers low down and in the mid-range, but also all the way through to the top end. In fact, the new 660 is the most powerful bike now in the category at 81 PS peak power. Also, as anyone who's ever owned a Triumph knows, this has a really distinctive, strong, linear power delivery and triple sound that's just wonderful when you open the throttle. All right, so given who buys these bikes in Europe, I assume it's A2 compatible? Absolutely. Accessibility is key in this category. Not only can you make this A2 compliant with an accessory kit that can be taken off again after you've passed your test, but it's also got a great low seat height, really easy handling, and the lowest cost of ownership in the category. Thank you, Steve. Right then, now let's hear from Vanessa Ruck, also known as the girl on a bike, who got to ride the prototype earlier this month to hear how the new Tiger Sport stacks up versus the competition. Uh, hello, Tiger 660. I am pretty thrilled to be able to get onto the prototype, and I've got to say I'm ridiculously impressed. I don't tend to measure bikes by just the stats. For me, it's about how it makes you feel, and I had such a good time riding this bike. I was also cheekily allowed to ride some of the key competitors, and every area that I could feel, this bike seemed to just step it up. It feels like the quality you expect from Triumph. If you think about the Trident 660 and how well that has done, I anticipate this is gonna follow very smoothly in its footsteps. Now, in the adventure sport market, you're looking for a bike that is going to be no compromise. You can do everything from your fun blasts on a Sunday to commuting to having your buddy on the back. And this bike doesn't seem to be a compromise in any area at all, as far as my experience goes. It's got a lively, responsive engine. It's got a comfortable seating position. It's got technology that's gonna help you stay safe and be confident on the road. And just as an overall package, I think Triumph have nailed it. It's a bit of a thumbs up from me. I kind of want to keep riding, but I think they're going to take it off me. So another area that Triumph have said that's class leading about the new Tiger 660 is its specification and technology. So Stuart, what makes this class leading in your view? Well, for me, it comes down to the specification and just as importantly, how that's all put together to make this bike really versatile. We've got premium branded equipment with Showa upside down forks and a Showa Monoshock RSU, which has remote preload adjustment, making it really easy to adjust if you're carrying a pillion or luggage. We've also got Nissin brakes with twin 310 millimeter front discs and the high spec Michelin Road 5 tires. The Tiger 660 introduces three new category leading technology features with switchable traction control and two riding modes, both enabled by the ride-by-wire throttle, and also new multifunctional instruments with a TFT display that's ready for the accessory fit My Triumph connectivity system. On top of this, you also get full LED lighting with self-canceling indicators, an immobilizer, Triumph's really easy action slip and assist clutch, and ABS. All right, so what's it like to ride? 
Well, Jamie, whilst the kit really matters, of course, it's how the bike is set up that makes it handle like a triumph. The riding position has been designed to give you that great balance of comfortable upright riding ergonomics, married to a really confidence-inspiring, agile and dynamic ride. You've also got a comfortable seating position with a narrow standover and low 835 millimeter seat height. For your passenger, the seat in the foot peg position has been ergonomically optimized for comfort. And they also have these integrated grab handles as standard. Another great feature is the new screen, which has been designed for really easy one-handed adjustment. And I can see this bike is fitted with luggage. Yes, a key part of this bike's versatility is how capable it is for you to go touring on. And of course, luggage is central to that. And we have designed the Tiger Sport with discreetly integrated luggage rails, ready to fit the new integrated panniers, which you can color match to your bike. On top of this, we've also got a brand new top box that you can fit two helmets in, as well as a roll bag and a rear rack. Thank you, Stuart. Now, let's get another opinion on the new Tiger Sport from Rob at Motobob, one of the UK's leading motorcycle YouTubers. First up, this 660 Triple is absolutely perfect for this category of motorcycle. It's nice and smooth when you're cruising at a constant speed, but it also really livens up when you want it to, and there's plenty of fun to be had at the top end. It's also got the braking and handling to match. Triumph really know how to set up a bike. And then there's absolutely bags of tech versus the competition. The ride-by-wire throttle has a really refined feel to it. Two riding modes, which can be really useful. And you also get switchable traction control. All of that stuff is unique to the Tiger. On top of that, the dash is really a standout feature for me. It's really visible and readable. The CFT insert offers so much functionality. The adjustable windscreen works beautifully. It's a super comfortable bike. Honestly, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself riding this bike today and it really does stand out from the competition. Now to hear all about the design, let's go over to Miles. The brief with the new Tiger Sport 660 was to deliver Triumph's distinctive design language with clean lines and an upright commanding presence. And of course, all of Triumph's renowned quality of premium fit and finish. Now the result gives you this really distinctive poison silhouette with the striking twin LED headlights, the beautifully contoured LED tail light, these five spoke sporty wheels, and a very compact low mounted silencer. We have three colors to choose from with this sophisticated Karossi Red and Graphite, the Lucerne Blue and Sapphire Black, or a Graphite and Black option. Now, being a Triumph, of course, we've got lots of new accessories available, so you can add more practicality and performance, plus more of your own personal style, which include the comprehensive touring luggage range, including the option of color match panniers, top box, and an up and down quick shifter, the My Triumph connectivity system, which gives you turn-by-turn -turn navigation, phone and music control, and finally, heated grips, just to name a few of the items. Now, hearing all of that, I, for one, really want to know how much it costs. So, Paul, tell us all about it. Hi, Jamie. OK, so the price in the UK will be £8,450, which is really competitive against the other bikes in the category and represents real value for money when you consider the bike's class-leading setup. Now, also, on top of this, the new 660 offers the lowest cost of ownership in the entire category. Now, this comes from two key advantages. First, we have the lowest workshop cost, which is based on the first three years servicing, and also the lowest maintenance parts cost. The service intervals are also class leading at a very high, 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometers. And then finally, just like every other Triumph, you get a two year unlimited mileage warranty that gives you peace of mind wherever you go, which of course can be extended for even more reassurance. So the final question for me, Paul, when will I better get my hands on it? I'm pleased to say that the new 660 will be coming into our dealerships around the world in January of next year. So people who like what they see here today, then I'd say either go online or pick up the phone and book yourself a test ride. Thanks, Paul. So there you have it, Triumph's new Tiger Sport 660, the new definition of triple-powered versatility. With its 660 triple engine, class-leading power, specification and technology, and the lowest cost of ownership in the category. Thanks for joining us. Let's see the new 660 in action one last time.